Thank you, session chair, my fellow panelists, and ladies and gentlemen. Very good morning to all of you. Uh, well, as uh, said by Mr. Rajnath Ramji, that uh, uh, we are passing through an energy transition. A lot of energies, uh, like uh, different sources of energies, are becoming important for our sustainability. And uh, in this direction, uh, I would like to uh, say that a lot of buzzwords are coming up, like green hydrogen, then uh, biofuels, then carbon capture. And a lot of countries have introduced uh, their net zero targets, especially some countries have been even given net zero by 2035, and uh, India has given 2070. So in this direction, I think uh, biofuels are likely to play a very important role. And uh, uh, the as per IEA, there are different. Uh, uh, you can next slide, please. Yeah. So as per IEA, India International Energy Association. So this, uh, these are the different like scenarios which are likely to be uh, build up. So uh, the stated policy scenario is the balance assessment. Then this delayed recovery scenario is because of the COVID. So I think this is not uh, not valid now. Then India Vision case, of course, is a rapid uh, resolution of uh, today's public health crisis and more complete realization of India's stated energy policies. And then the sustainable development scenario, which is the more aggressive one, where the these uh, all renewable energy sources will be uh, will be of more importance uh, than the conventional sources. Next slide, please. So this is the uh, this is a chart which shows that uh, where are we at present and how this scenario is going to change from 2019 to 2040. So biofuels, of course, will be a major source of uh, energy, and as well as uh, nuclear will also play a part there. Uh, renewables as well as nuclear, especially the biofuels there also. Uh, next slide, please. So this is the this is the Sankey diagram which uh, shows that how the energy flows. Uh, across uh, like dif from different sources and how it is utilized so th i think this slide is little congested but uh, this uh, the scenario is here is that this the currently we are the electricity generation is not much here uh, but when we go to 2040 you can see that uh, go to the next slide please so the energy consumption through uh, electricity will be more and even bio biofuels consumption will also be more here and uh, the conventional use of biomass which is there in india right now will of course uh, diminish and it will be more in a focused way next slide please so as far as advanced biofuels are concerned so next slide so there are different types of biofuels as uh, you might be knowing some of them like uh, a lot of push is there for the uh, CBG, of course, then uh, cellulosic ethanol, which is uh, made through um, the hydrolysis and fermentation, then uh, hydrotated vegetable oils. This is again a lot of push is there now to use the uh, used cooking oils and other different sources of oil which are non edible. Then uh, biosynthetic natural gas, then FT liquids, of course, uh, biomass to liquids. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. So methanol, of course, again, it can be made through biomass sources. Then bio-DME, of course, this is a very new concept, but I think this is very important because India is short in LPG and DME can replace, uh, means it can be used uh, uh, along with the, uh, uh, LPG also, DME. And then bio-butanol, of course, this is a new concept which is also coming up. Bio-hydrogen, a lot of push on hydrogen, so bio-hydrogen will also play a role. Uh, so this can be done through biomass uh, gasification or through biofermentation routes also. And of course, algal biofuels, a uh, lot of work is going on across the countries. And uh, in this direction, I would like to mention here that India, of course, as you must be seeing, a lot of, lot of heaps of uh, waste in Delhi also, like the MSW and other things. So there also that, uh, the plasma gasification can play a good role and uh, we can produce syn gas, which ultimately can be converted to any of the fuels which I have mentioned here. Next slide, please. So these are the different uh, biomass conversion pathways. As you can see that uh, there are different routes. One is the thermal route and one is the biological route. Uh, in the thermal route, of course, there are three pathways like combustion. You can just combust it in excess of air. Then gasification where you use partial air and then the pyrolysis where you don't use any oxygen. So these are the different pathways to produce uh, uh, through the thermal route and then in the biological route, as you can see that uh, we have to treat this uh, uh, on this waste uh, first. Well, there is a pre-treatment sort of thing, and then you have to we can produce bioethanol and other products in this also. Uh, there are some companies who are working with the microbes, like uh, uh, 
uh, in the in the last the photograph which you see in the end is a route where off gases are being converted through fermentation uh, the gases which are of no use in the refinery or which are burned uh, at this stage they are being converted to ethanol through a fermentation route uh, this is the route which you are seeing that it can be converted to ethanol and then it further it can be converted to even the jet fuel next slide please so uh, government has launched a, lo lo launched a lot of schemes like one is the satat you might be knowing this this is for the cbg where all micro oil marketing companies are putting up a lot of plants uh, cbg plants and uh, this of course is to reduce the dependency on the crude because india is a agrarian country and uh, of course we have to use the biomass uh, for making uh, useful products especially the gas here and then of course efficient uh, um, use can be done for, for ultimately making this biogas for the household as well as for the transportation purposes also and uh, promotion of organic farming of course because in this uh, uh, this production of biogas we got, get a lot of organic manure also so that is an added advantage here next so as far as biofuel policy is concerned this was launched in 2018 where a uh, number of projects are being uh, funded for 2g ethanol projects then uh, there is a push on the uh, like production of other like use of uh, biodiesel especially from the used cooking oil and other things the targets which were there for the 2030 they have been uh, brought uh, down to 2025 so all these targets uh, the companies basically will have to meet by 2025 and as you can see that uh, different organizations have been made who are funding, who are supporting like this um, biofuel policy and especially the biofuel, different types of products which, are, which can be made from the biomass. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, there is a, I just like to mention here that uh, there is a special policy which is there for 2G ethanol, which is called the PMG1 Yojana. So this is uh, especially to use the, the waste especially for the parali which you, you heard, which you might be knowing and uh, the other bio bio feeds also parallelly so there are 12 uh, like 1800 crores i think uh, in the recent energy week also our honorable prime minister talked about this and uh, 12 commercial projects are being funded here and uh, 10 demonstration means demonstration here means the r&d projects to develop like different processes for uh, bio bio like uh, ethanol production so uh, my organization like CST, which is the nodal uh, agency for this, uh, which is a technical arm of MOPNG, we are uh, coordinating this uh, funding. And uh, this uh, goes through a rigorous like um, evaluation where scientific advisory committee is there, which is chaired by the uh, Dr. Anil Kokotkar, who is a senior nuclear scientist. He is uh, heading this scientific advisory committee. So a rigorous evaluation is done before the, uh, these projects are granted funding. Next slide, please. The objective, of course, is to promote 2G ethanol here. And um, um, as you can see that uh, um, these oil and marketing companies, especially they have already set up some, uh, they are setting up some plants. And uh, this, of course, uh, there are, this involves a, like a enzyme, um, enzyme is uh, required for fermentation process where, which is mostly important now. So, impo uh, so a lot of push is there to uh, like uh, develop this uh, enzyme indigenously also and uh, companies are working towards this indigenization of most of the things uh, um, in India itself. Next slide, please. Uh, this is, uh, as you can see that uh, emissions, uh, there is a lot of emission reduction. You can see gasoline versus 1G, 1G ethanol, there are uh, still emissions are there, but lesser than gasoline, but 2G, of course, is more environmental friendly and emissions are less. And uh, MSW-based plants, I think, that also we need to target because we have a lot of MSW apart from the biomass. So this also is a, a carries importance here. Six commercial and three demo plants are under implementation right now, which are being funded uh, under this year, PMG one Yojana. Next slide, please. But there, see, the, this technology, as uh, Mr. Ram also said, that there are issues with the 2G ethanol technologies and uh, cost of production is very high right now uh, with respect to 1G plants. Uh, uh, the cost are even, I can say that it is uh, more than double right now. But uh, p uh, the companies are working to, uh, to bring this cost down. Lack of experience with, uh, because this uh, requires a lot of biomass handling. And uh, the, especially the companies, they are facing a lot of uh, problems in the biomass handling. As uh, I, I, I got the information regarding the first plant at uh, IOCL, Panipat, where they are facing uh, these different types of problems, water availability, 
then disposal of uh, then ash will be there so a lot of ash and mud will be generated along with the ethanol so that also need to be disposed and uh, issues are there but i think uh, always there are issues with the first plant and second so those will be overcome and the biomass supply chain again uh, because once uh, these things become like uh, the, ethanol, the ethanol is being produced so the biomass uh, availability will be an issue because people will try to increase the price of the biomass also next slide please so in conclusion i will say that um, cbg of course is a very important uh, cooking fuel as well as transportation fuel, uh, transportation fuel and uh, we need to uh, target cbg in a big way then 2g ethanol of course um, uh, this uh, this carries importance but i i also feel that parallelly uh, there are companies who are working towards biomass gasification and then con converting it to uh, uh, like ethanol through fermentation route so there are two routes one is the hydrolysis and then fermentation and the second is uh, gasification followed by the fermentation so both the routes are being uh, uh, means, uh, different companies are taking up the projects and they are being funded uh, then this sustainable aviation fuel of course uh, there are corsia guidelines which are likely to come and we'll have to produce uh, even the jet fuel through the bio route this will be a mandate soon by 2030 and uh, Again, uh, so this will again require a lot of biofuels like bioethanol to be produced, which can ultimately be converted to biojet. Even like used cooking oil can also be converted to biojet directly also. And then uh, I think uh, the government is promoting this in a techno technology agnostic manner to uh, improve the biofuel production in the country. And uh, multiple pathways for biofuel production are required and will be very important for the, our energy independence of the country. Thank you.